hello everyone. I'd like to share uh, a, a great recipe uh, uh, with, for chicken tenderloin. You can do chicken breast as well. So this is me what I, I've done so far, and I'll show you guys the next batch is uh, basically uh, you, you call your frozen chicken in the microwave without putting water in it uh, for like this was uh, eight pieces of chicken for 1.1 pounds. I'm just guessing on it, and then um, uh, then then you check to see if it's thawed or not. If it is, then you take like smaller pieces and part take it out, and then the big pieces you uh, put it back. Um, and then what I did was uh, I, I took the chicken and basically I got rid of the um, you know the little tender that's in there because it, it doesn't get uh, cooked very well. So I took those out, you know, holding the piece with a fork, and then I have a video on that, and then basically scraping the meat out of it. So those are out, and then um, here I just put in uh, a little bit of uh, oil in there. It could be canola or coconut oil. Uh, and I put like a cupful uh, at the, over the chicken, and that's all. It has nothing else. And then I, I put it on the... Uh, uh, this and I have this on high if it's on uh, between six and seven because I want to sear the, uh, the, the juice. Um, and then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, take, uh, check it out and you can do you can take a fork. Actually I, I, I sprinkle it with uh, uh, taco seasoning and like I said I'm just going to do another batch but it's in the, in the middle of it I want to finish so I put in the taco, taco seasoning and all over it and good generous amount and some uh, garlic powder. This is granulated garlic, the color this is garlic garlic powder. And then what I do is, so this is on high, I'm just going to do this. You can see so the inside is not going to be cooked yet, but uh, and then, then you're going to lower the, the temperature. Uh, so this one, she's got a good sear now. And then some of them may already be done. So what I do is I take the fork, you can take actually a wooden, wooden spoon probably better because then you don't want to damage your, uh, your pan. And um, you should reduce the temperature on this too. So now I'm going to uh, uh, medium heat, uh, which is at about three now. And then um, I take a wooden spoon and then check to see if it's white in the middle or not. So like this one seems already white, that means that one is ready to be taken out, and I can put it in a container so you can check a couple of spots just to be on the safe side that it is it's cooked, so you can see that it's, it's uh, white. I'm so looking at this piece. It's white, you can take these out, this is done. They're so cooked basically in a minute, this is chicken, chicken tenderloin. It's very fast, and you can cook it. To cook. The advantage of cooking at home is that you know the ingredients, and you know how much oil has been in there, so it's healthier than eating at a restaurant. You know, I know restaurants is convenient, but they use butter for flavor, and I don't know, it's not, I feel like, I mean, unless you go to a really healthy restaurant, which I haven't seen one yet, uh, it's better to uh, make your own food. Like, see, this one is, is also, hold on, make sure, yeah, see, this one is not done, see, it's a little bit, no, I see that one too. Uh, so it's on medium heat right now. But <clears throat> anyway, this is delicious. So I'm putting it back in, in this pan. And <clears throat> we check out this other piece. I'm checking the thick part of it too. Make sure it's cooked properly. Uh, it looks like this one. Yeah, it looks like it's done as well. Excuse me. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's done. So, so you keep it on high, and then to and then on uh, medium to sear the the juice, and then um, it's done. So sometimes you can break it down into pieces as well. So this is definitely done. Uh, the only bad part is that it does get um, almost burned at the bottom. So you have to start with a with a new pan, so I'm going to start a new pan, and 
let's see what we're gonna get. Ah, let's try this dish. So we're gonna start over, so this is what you're gonna do. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, let's go. We're gonna put a little bit of oil on this first. So I'm doing uh, uh, just enough to coat like about a half of a tablespoon. And I brush it because I'm trying to cut calories. And then you use a brush and make sure that you get the coating. And then I'm going to increase the temperature to uh, in five and six, which is like pretty high. And then um, this is the chicken that had a little bit of oil, the oil in there. And we're going to uh, use these tongs because it's easier to do that. I did the mixing with this as well. I'm going to take a piece and then put it on the on the side here. Take the next one like that. Very simple. And it's delicious. Uh, there you go. And then I keep them away from each other. So uh, <clears throat> they get cooked and they get become kind of like crispy. So then now, of course, I'm going to spray the garlic, granulated gar garlic that cooks. Doesn't matter what, what brand it is, but that's all it has is just garlic powder. Just focusing on the actual pieces like that. And after the garlic, I'm going to put the Okay, seasoning. It's also good for fries. They come out delicious. Uh, I used to make that for my kids growing up when they were young. And then, of course, as adults, they wash their diet so they're not eating as much fries. But when they're young, they love fries. So it's better to make it at home healthy and you can use salsa seasoning. It's not spicy, just good flavor. So, a little bit more in here and that's it so now it's on high and then I give it a couple minutes so it gets sealed and, <clears throat> and that's it while well, that's happening you can uh, you know uh, pick up clean up as you go so that way that way it's not more work for you I think I missed that little corner. Put a little bit in here. It's actually my hand recipe. Here's the one that came up with this uh, recipe for the chicken. I do the fries. But then I'm like, oh my god, your chicken is so delicious. How did you do it? And he told me he said he used the taco seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and uh, have a piece of this. Mmm, so delicious. It's juicy. You can put a little bit of lemon juice on this if you want. And to give it more flavor. And lemon juice is really good if, you know, you're not at high risk and your body can handle it. And it burns fat, so you can put it with your uh, salad, with tomatoes, and onion, and cilantro. I have a recipe, recipe online. This is very easy to do, and uh, yeah, lemon juice and salt in it. That's also good for people that don't have an appetite. And um, um, that's it, anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it to see if I take it fast. Then you use uh, one of these spatulas. Uh, I'm going to do this. Put it all in one piece. And then turn it. See, that one is done. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to flip it over that. There we go. Here's the next one. And then one last piece. Mm 
So basically, you're putting the spice on this one side. It still got nice and crispy. And then once this is sealed, maybe already done. Otherwise, you just reduce the temperature uh, to uh, medium. If they're, if they're bigger pieces. Excuse <coughs> me. The uh, seasoning is affecting me. So. Usually I have this with uh, rice, and the rice is, basically I just use this, uh, the uh, rice cooker, um, and you just put a little bit of uh, bouillon powder in it, you know, some salt if necessary, you can put, um, you know, uh, parsley in it with the rice, or just by itself, um, my son just likes it by itself, but I like parsley in it, or spinach, you can also use, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, a mix of different kind of dry spices like parsley and uh, mint and that's also good. Or you could also put dry, dry or fresh dill with your rice. That's also delicious. It looks like uh, this is getting, getting uh, sealed. There you go. So now I'm going to flip this and then uh, pass them to see if they're done and definitely uh, reduce, the, reduce the temperature. One more. And then do the test to reduce the temperature to medium. And then, and then take this and check it out. So that one, see it's white and it's done. And then do a couple of spots if you need to, just to make sure. Yep. So, and then, uh, put the butter stuff there. There we go. Put it back in the pan. And now you can even, I, I like that enough because the, the plastic stuff is not as strong. This one's got a, a, a stronger piece of juicy. And then you just have to see if, if I got, so if you have big pieces, you can actually do this to uh, get the heat going and uh, you don't want to cook it too long otherwise it'll get rough so this one as long as it's white then it's done so this is done and we'll put it back here and then check out this one so this looks done yep so, putting it on the pan here, and then this is the uh, last piece, see this is, oh yeah, this one's done too, I'm going to flip it and turn it off, uh, we are done, so there you have it, a uh, chicken tenderloin, that is delicious, so, bon appetit, thank you so much, uh, for watching my channel again this is uh, uh halima with healthy eating i have a lot of tips on my website for other things too like how to fight through covid19 how to live long exercise tips language and um, a lot of uh, ethnic um, recipes kind of like sort of like mediterranean but it's uh, healthy delicious um recipes from afghanistan anyway have a great day thanks so much for watching my channel love you guys bye, -bye.